Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Uh, no, I'm not in my kitchen. I am on vacation, but don't worry. I've lined up a bunch of guest hosts to give you your daily sandwich dose. Now, our first guest host is a returning guest host from last year. Uh, she's a chef, a culinary instructor, recipe developer. She's got a cookbook coming out August 27th called Dak Biet, which is a Vietnamese cooking cookbook. I've already pre-ordered it. It's going to be fantastic. She's been on a Top Chef All-Stars and more recently Tournament of Champions on the Food Network. Please welcome Chef Nini Nguyen. Hi, I'm subbing for Barry, but my name is Nini and welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, I'll be making a tomato sandwich from the book, Economical Cookery of 1918. Let's get cooking. So I have a double boiler, which is basically a pot of water and a bowl fitted on top of it. And I'm gonna let that water come to a boil. Now to my double boiler, I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of sugar one tablespoon of flour, about one tablespoon of butter, and about a teaspoon of mustard. I'm going to whisk that together. Let's get a towel so I don't burn myself. I'm going to let that butter kind of melt with the sugar and the flour. So we need a teaspoon of salt. I made a mistake and I added the butter too soon. The ingredients are not in order. So we wanted the sugar sugar, flour, salt, and mustard together. Sugar, flour, salt, mustard. I added the butter, and now I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna crack in two eggs. Got two eggs in here. Crack that open. Vinegar, a cup of water. Quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Upgrade to a bigger whisk. We're gonna whisk it and cook it until it's nice and thick. I'm going to cut it so that you don't have to wait for this. So you want to whisk this so that it doesn't get so curdled like scrambled eggs. I think this is meant to be kind of like a thick sauce. It's thickening and if I'm making like an ice cream, I would make it about this thick until like all the little foamy bubbles kind of go away. So this has been cooking for about four minutes and it's gotten pretty thick. You could tell um, it's kind of cooked because like in pastry, the frothiness of the mixture is no longer there. It's pretty solidified and I've been whisking it so that it doesn't curdle. So it's coating the back of a metal spoon and if I run a line through it, if this part doesn't run, I think that's the thickness we want. Now we're gonna let this cool and then we're gonna get our sandwich ready. So once my mixture's cooled off, we're gonna take a few tablespoons of this. At every equal part of the sauce, we're gonna mix with cream. I do three tablespoons of cream. Now we're supposed to whisk this together. Next, I'm gonna slice a tomato. Add my dressing. I'm gonna put the tomatoes in and kind of Coat them in this dressing. This looks a little crazy. I got some brioche that I've toasted. So we'll butter our bread. I like to butter from edge to edge. And then we lay our tomatoes on top. My tomato drench in this dressing right on top. Buttered bread. Let's give this tomato sandwich a go. Okay. So I picked a brioche bread, which is kind of sweet, and it works really well with this tomato sandwich. The sauce ends up being kind of like a tangy substitute for mayonnaise. Um, I kind of really like this sandwich. I think if I were to add anything, the instructions didn't say to salt and pepper the tomatoes, so I'm going to do that. I'm gonna um, plus it up with some extra salt and pepper. There's no pepper in this recipe, so unless you count the red pepper flakes. Okay. I kind of want some texture. And so I think I'm gonna throw in some Ruffles sour cream and cheddar chips into this sandwich. This is gonna be my plus up because I think I wanted some texture and something kind of cheesy. And so I'm gonna add a few chips right on top. 
if I didn't have the brioche bread, I don't know if I would like it as much. But let's see this plussed up tomato sandwich with sour cream and onion chips and salt and pepper a go. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I kind of want a fresh herb in here, but I don't really have any at my house. The sweetness from the bread mixed with the savoriness of the tomato and the tanginess and creaminess of the sauce really reminds me of a classic tomato mayonnaise sandwich. Um, the original recipe just needed a little bit more seasoning for my taste, but the chips and the extra seasoning really kicked it up a notch. I would say I'd give the original sandwich, which was pretty good, a seven. I think my plussed up version gave it like a 7.75. It's not quite an eight, um, but it's quite delicious. It looks pretty good too. And, um, and yeah, I think this is like a 7.75 sandwich. I think if I had some chives or um, some basil or something, I think this would knock it up to an eight or eight and a half but I'm pretty happy with this. This is not too bad. Now I have so much of this sauce, I have to figure out something to do. Thanks for having me, Barry. Cheers, everyone. Bye.